Hey everybody, Ryan McCaffrey with IGN, joined by fellow Halo superfan, Shark Finnegan. Hello, how's it going? <laughs> Sean, we've got ourselves the Halo 5 console. Let's not waste any time, yeah, shall we? Can we just jump right into it, Let's please? just see what's mm. in this thing. We know, here, I'm, gonna let, I'm gonna let you Vanna White this thing for me. Yeah. And, and give your instant reactions to the controller. This is already, I'm loving, loving the look of this. It's very like, it's got this matte sort of gloss finish, or a gloss finish on the top, and then this matte kind of silver finish on the front with all these kind of like halo patterns that are reminiscent of the new Spartan armor. Yep. Like the Spartan 4 armor. Man, this looks really cool. I, you know what I'm into too is uh, I really like, the, there was a 360 controller that did this last generation. In fact, the one that introduced the transforming D-pad when they oh, tried right, to make the right, D-pad right. better. I like the monochrome buttons. I'm just, for some reason I like that's a cool look to me, that just when all four face buttons look the same. I also like, we tore right into this, but the presentation of this console, of the of the box, is super cool. Notice we opened it and the, that sweet controller was the right first top, thing. Yeah. The first thing we saw, and then the, the steelbook case for the with the game in it is the next thing that we're gonna open up right now. Ooh, it's thicker than I thought it was gonna be. It's I a double, it yeah, double like case. A, yeah. So we've got our uh, UNSC, Steelbook case right here. Let's see what's in it. Uh, Documentation. Yep. Code for the game. Gonna need that. I'm gonna give that to you. We'll make sure not to treat show, it well. Yeah. <laughs> that to the audience. Oh, is it? Hopefully, it's a scratch. It's a scratch off, thankfully. Yeah. Uh, games with goal. Xbox Live code. What do we got here, Sean? Documentation. Just uh, something. It's some game lore stuff with. Agent Lock, an Oni operation order. So Interesting. We'll, we'll read that later. Yeah, we'll figure out <laughs> what that is. In fact, let me inspect that while you keep going through this box. Sweet. A sealed UNSC document, the name on the back, Jameson Lock. So um, there's some lock. Well, I guess we should, we'll open this. We're not gonna bother to read that other thing. Let's see what's doing in here. This appears to be like an official Oni operation order that would be given to a Spartan for his mission. Like it has mission details. Does it say? Specified to lock. Number one, find Master Chief. Number two, kill Master Chief. It says you are ordered to retrieve the following critical, redacted, UNSC asset, <laughs> value of interest. Yeah, this is definitely, this is awesome. It's a kill order. I don't want to like read it to everyone because you should probably look at it and read it yourself, yeah. but it is pretty cool. Uh, I'm actually really liking what's in this, this uh, little foil mm. package. I just opened. There are info cards for all eight Spartans, which I think is cool. So if you haven't either read The Fall of Reach to get the background on Blue Team, or even if you have, Fire Team Osiris is pretty new. These are cards for everybody. We got Kelly, we got Linda, Fred, Spar uh, Master Chief himself, John, and then Vale, Tanaka, Buck, and Locke. So cool That's stuff awesome. there. I like Definitely that. Definitely interested in the Buck card because. Voiced by Nathan Fillion. Who doesn't love Buck? Former ODST, glad he got his Spartan status, that's cool. So here we got a, uh, I don't even know what to call this. Let's let's see what's in this. It's a strange I'm gonna guess it's some crazy lithograph thing. Let's see. Oh, whoa. Oh. Nope, it has instructions. Oh, 3D laser cut, mo oh, you can make a, all right, here, you hold yep. that, yep. I'm gonna hold this up. You can make your own metal guardian. I don't know if we can get a close up on that, or at least we'll just we'll have some sort of shot for, of it for you later. Uh, this involves pliers. <laughs> it involves twisting metal, and uh, that seems like it's going to be a big pain to this put together. This looks really intricate. That's what <laughs> I was just about to say. Is like I can't even really tell what some of these pieces are or how they would even fit together. The instructions have got to be pretty intricate. But it is really cool. Listen to yeah. that. I mean, you can hear it's tinny. Oh yeah, like, that's metal. Whenever you find, whenever you actually end up assembling this thing, it's gonna be pretty cool. Well, we're not even. We're, we're still on the top layer. We're not even to like the. We're still on the top layer. The cool part uh, of this thing yet. Uh, all right, good. Scratch off code back here too. This is a download code for uh, Photos class armor and a multiplayer emblem. Whoop. Nice. Good stuff on that. I'm on the record as saying shaders and emblems are basically the best things ever, and I love to collect them. So anything where I'm getting free ones, that's awesome. That aside, uh, now we're really getting into the meat of this. I'm yeah, that's here, uh, really uh, power cable, power brick. I'm gonna set that down. I'm just gonna venture a guess that 
Y'all don't need to see the power brick, right? We know what <laughs> There's nothing special like. about that. Yeah, I mean, it looks black as opposed to the regular gray, so we'll get a shot of that if that indeed is the case. But now, like, the crown jewel of the whole package, yeah, let's get you, let's get this thing out of there. All right, you wanna move the box aside, please? Yeah. This looks already really cool. It's in a black sort of like. What yeah, do, usually what do you the, even call they're this? white. Yeah, they're the, white. The sort of uh, foam, foam, foamish packing, protective packing sheath. tape. Oh wow! Oh wow! That looks awesome. Let's get a look at this bad boy. Yeah. First for ourselves, and then for the camera, because we're selfish like that. This is nice. This so, is really nice. One of the first things that immediately stands out to my eye is, yep. uh, again, with the new Spartan Mark IV armor, uh, or not uh, armor, sorry, the Spartan IVs have oh yes, all yes. built into their armor these kind of like, I don't even really know what to, spider webby type stuff that looks really new yeah. underneath the armor that's like part of the suit. And it's built into the front on this uh, panel right here where the you know, yep. where the power button is, or the capacitive power button is. You can see like an right under there. armor, basically. Exactly, yeah. Whatever you call, like, underneath the metal parts of the armor, there's this, like, connective tissue, like, that's on, for Master Chief, it's black. Right. But on the new Spartans, it's all, like, kind of webby looking. Yeah. It's very uh, cool. Everybody, if, if you're a longtime IGN follower, you know that I hate any, I hate overly busy console designs. Yeah. I like my designs minimalist. Like, that's why I think the white <clears throat> Xbox One is the prettiest one. Definitely. But this, this, and the Call of Duty one was hideous. Yes. This one, is nice. It, I think it strikes a nice balance. There's a little, you know, there's a little bit going on in the on the front panel here. Well, yeah, in but classic, not a, not a ton. In classic Halo fashion, I mean, spoiler alert: Halo is a sci-fi franchise, so it looks pretty futuristic, but not overly <laughs> so, right? Like, there's some patterns going on, but it fits in with the the color palette of it. Again, this sort of steely gray and silver look, clean. Minimalistic, like you said, not too busy. I and love it. Uh, we'll get a shot of a better shot of this later. But up in the, if you're looking at the at the top of the console, in the upper right corner, there's a date, Sean. Oh wow. October twenty eighth, twenty five fifty eight. What do you suppose that is, Ryan? That is probably when this game starts, or it's some sort of it's a, some Halo Five significant date. Destin would know. He just he has all this in his head. Yeah, because that's not the release date, right? Well, this isn't 2558, so I don't think so. No, I meant like the. It's October, though. Right? It's it, it's the yeah. release date's the 27th. Yeah. And this is the 28th, 28, but so. Uh, yeah, and then up top, again, pretty minimalist here. You've got some cool. Oh, what I like about this is it's not a decal. It's actually if you feel that, it's actually etched Built in. Built in. Yeah, that's really awesome. And it's got a custom boot up sound, of course. And a custom boot down sound. I think the controller is probably even nicer than the control than the console itself is. Yeah, it looks really great. That's it. Yeah. Good stuff. Good job. Three four three on the design of this thing, keeping it keeping it nice without being without being too over the top. Giving us a reason to want to buy another console. We're gonna have a ton more on Halo Five between now and launch and after launch. So for more on all things Halo Five, you're already in the right place right here at IGN.